Hey guys, welcome back to Ask Cam Doc. My name's Shane and I'm a final year medical student and neuroscience supervisor at the University of Cambridge. And this is my story of managing time. I remember talking to some of friends and I kind of came up with a logical explanation of how I might actually plan my time and, and that I actually have ended up calling it bifactor coding where essentially a process where I look at a task and I decide how important it is and decide its priority and then I also see how flexible it is like is it something that I can do whenever I want to do or is, is it something that I have to do at a particular time because it's fixed by someone else and I can't change it. So once I started doing that and once I started fixing the kind of high priority low flexibility tasks I found that I was able to fit in my kind of higher priority, high flexibility tasks like going to the gym or chilling, etc. Um, and you know, that process works for me. You know, I, was, I was able to plan things efficiently, logically. I was able to do everything I want to do. However, the problem was kind of being spontaneous, you know, like a lot of people like to be spontaneous, including myself, you know, I love to be spontaneous. But doing this process and, you know, kind of having this goal of doing well and planning everything out kind of stops you from being able to be very spontaneous um, and that was definitely an issue but I managed to come up with a way around it and that was essentially a process of re introducing redundancies into your plan so for example you know if I plan out a week I might have like you know some time on Saturday or Sunday where I haven't I purposely not planned anything for that time so essentially what that allows me to do is say I've plan to read something on Monday night but someone comes into my room and is like yo do you want to go out for dinner I essentially think to myself okay cool I have some time on Sunday where I can do this reading so that means I can go for dinner now instead of reading this and I'll just read it on on the Sunday so essentially it allowed me to be spontaneous because I still built in redundancy so Essentially, it's just like I planned to be spontaneous um, and, you know, if an opportunity came up, cool, I could take it because I still had redundancies built in. However, there is a limit to this because if you're spontaneous all the time, you don't have enough redundancies. So, you know, I, I still did make sure that I was disciplined enough to stick to majority of my plans. So this was like a good person, a good way. Um, but when I went into my fourth year, I tried to do this, but actually I found that a lot of other things um, started to kind of creep in because I took on responsibilities like supervising and that was something that ate up a lot of my time. You know, I was spending a load of hours just sitting and making um, a kind of PowerPoint slide of like all the notes and um, planning out my supervisions, marking essays. Um, and that took up a lot of time. And essentially, I was supervising like five colleges in, in my fourth year uh, and you know racking up almost 11 hours uh, at my peak. And that obviously wasn't great for my medical studies because I remember there was a good kind of six weeks where I didn't even touch medicine because I was just really busy supervising. You know, I wasn't doing my normal process of planning and bifactor coding and um, logically coming up with Time, a time schedule, etc. I was kind of just going with the flow and that obviously reflected because I had to work super, super hard in the weeks running up to the exams. You know, I had to cram so hard just to make sure I was able to pass. Finally, at the end, I actually did pass quite decently. But it was not a happy and it wasn't a very healthy two weeks prior to the exam. So it's not something I ever want to do again. It's not something I advocate doing. With that in mind, I went back to my logical planning processes when it came to fifth year and I managed to hit the sweet spot in my fifth year. You know, I, I was doing exactly everything I wanted to be doing. I was still supervising, still going to the gym, still hanging out with my friends, still involved in certain societies. And I was still able to study and revise and um, go into ward rounds, um, you know, did everything a medical student was expected to do and was still able to do all the fun things that I wanted to be doing. So, you know, it is possible to do everything you want to be doing, but it is a process of planning very efficiently and planning with discipline 
and keeping in mind the priority of things and the flexibility of things. And also, you know, capturing the essence, which is kind of to be happy. There's no point in doing any of this if at the end of the day you're not happy and you're not healthy. So always keep that in mind. But yeah, so essentially, it's been my journey of coming up with a process that's worked for me where I can manage my time so well that I can do almost everything that I want to be doing. And in the guide, I'm going to be sharing with you the five-step approach that I've come up with that's allowed me to do that. So yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, but that's it for me for today, and I'll see you guys next time.